Hey everybody, welcome back to Matt's Ice Cream Show. We are back on our quest to try all the ice cream world has to offer. All of it, mom and pop shops, frozen custard, gelato, corporate brands, you name it, the whole way through. Hopefully, eventually, we can start traveling. Let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, today, we're going to be doing Nestle Drumstick, the original Sunday cone. This is actually from Dryers for the Calorie Conscious Crowd. This is 2.5 servings altogether is... 570 calories 570 how's everybody doing put in the comments below this is a vanilla ice cream swirled with fudge chocolatey coated peanuts and cone pieces all right look they claim it's ice cream ice cream has an actual definition by the fda we'll see something tells me this is maybe maybe a little lighter but it might be actual ice cream let's go ahead and jump into it also guys i know I've been rotating through like three or four shirts. Um, kind of in a transition phase right now. I actually don't have a lot with me. So, sorry, you got something on there. Uh, work with me, work with me, work with me. Anyway, how's everybody doing? Man, uh, I love doing this. I'm not going to lie, guys. I really do. You do it. You guys see the inside of it? Well... First things first is a lot better than I thought it would be. I'm not going to lie. Some of these things I get from the Dollar Tree are kind of, uh, you know, whatever. Oh. Dollar General, I guess I should say. My bad. My B. I don't get them all from there, but recently I've been getting them from there. Because it's closer to where I'm at. You see it? You guys see that swirl and that chocolate? <laughs> That chocolate in there. Bro. I'm not gonna lie. It has a much better fat content than I thought it would. A decent creaminess to it. You see those chocolate pieces in the peanuts? They're kind of all the way through it. It has some cone pieces in it. I kind of like that more than the chocolatey peanut pieces. But but in general, I would say there's more chocolatey peanuts, chocolatey covered peanuts, coated peanuts than anything. You can kind of taste the the swirled fudge. Maybe not quite as rich and sweet as I would like. But in general, it's not bad. I will say though, I don't know many cones. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys do. That have chocolate covered peanuts in it. Maybe that's just me. It's supposed to be emulate a drumstick. Actually, you know what? I take that back. I guess they're probably on the top of some drumsticks. But, or at least the ones I've had, they're usually just plain or salted peanuts. Definitely nothing special. And yes, at some point, I know I can plow through this really fast. The fat content is just whatever. It's definitely there, but it's nothing special. I will do, I promise, some speed challenges or something along those lines. Maybe one day I'll time myself. My brother, excuse me, my brother is impressed with my ability to eat ice cream fast also. He caught me eating the Ben and Jerry's recently and low-key, uh, Ben and Jerry's pint and low key time me. I think I got it in like two, two and a half minutes, something like that. Not even trying to. Granted, it was a little mad. They like I like it. But in general, I could probably do it in like three or four. No problem. But anywho. Okay. 
Scale of 1 to 100, 10 point grading scale for the drumstick by Nestle and dryers, I think. Because it says Nestle on the front and dryers on the back. Okay, so it's probably like an average ice cream. It's got a decent fat, fat content for an average. The swirl is there, though maybe not as much as I would like. The the fudge swirl, it's it's chock full of the chocolatey um, covered peanuts. So that was a little I don't know if off putting is the right word, but it's uh, maybe not quite what I was expecting because I don't have that experience a lot with uh, drumsticks. Although there are some peanuts, typically not as much, especially not as much as in here. Oh, um, there's one more ingredient. What was it? Oh, the cone pieces. That's actually one thing that I didn't have a lot of, and I felt like there should have been more of. So I would say less chocolatey peanuts and more cone pieces, or my real discrepancy, maybe a little bit sweeter. But for what it is, for a average ice cream, I would say, in my opinion, maybe borderline. No, it's like average. I'll say average. I'm going to give it like an 85. Uh... The biggest thing with this is, is it needs to emulate, in my opinion, because that's what it says, a drumstick. And I personally don't know that it emulates it to the T. It is similar, but it is certainly not the same by any means. Um, I would say it's good. And for like the 2 or $3 I spent on this, it's definitely a nice little treat. Has a decent fat content, decent sugariness. The ice cream in general wasn't bad. And I would say maybe it is actually ice cream. Sometimes I'm, these are a bit questionable because they're like half the fat or they're frozen dairy desserts. But anyway, you guys go out and check it out. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've had it. Put it in the comments below. Always a fan of uh, hearing what you have to say about it. Love talking to you guys. Also, while you're there, what would you think about the last ice cream? I thought it was pretty good. Make sure to go check out that ice cream. Let me know what you think. Put it in the comments to that video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Check the links below. You can find us on Rumble. You can find us on YouTube for now. Thank you so much, guys. We're really growing here. Uh, I will tell you more, by the way, about my LSAT situation. Um, I got a 158. I should have done better, but A, I didn't. That's how it goes. It kind of froze up a few times, but I still push through, and I will know where I'm going to law school, hopefully in the next month or two. But anyway, I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Tell your friends, tell your family. Come eat ice cream with me every week. I love uh, eating ice cream with you guys. I really look forward to it. And I will see you next time.